to the channel in today's video. I want to talk about this journey I've been on. <laughs> it's been a long journey. Yeah, a journey to speak up. fun, exciting adventure. I've learned so many tools, so many tips, but today I'm talking about one in particular, and it's about my, it's right here on my vision board, speak up. My learning how to speak up, to be brave, to be courageous, and to speak up for my needs and my wants. See, what I noticed as I was trying to lose weight was that I would routinely just find myself not speaking up for my needs and my wants. I was just so unable to speak my needs, my desires. It was a hindrance to my weight loss progress and I thought, you know, if I just solve for this, then it should be smooth sailing from there on out, you know? So I had to find the courage and I had to be brave. I work from home, I am with my husband probably five out of seven days all day long. and. That leads to a lot of conversations of what do you want to eat? We eat 98% of our meals together. If I don't have this ability to just speak up, then I'm always just like, yeah, whatever you want. How's that gonna help me out to reach my goals? You see where I'm getting at? I put it on my vision board. 2023 will be the year for me and I'm gonna learn to speak up. <laughs> that was a hefty goal, I'm telling you. The first step, Put it on my vision board the second step i had to take small steps baby steps baby steps in order to do this and i did it with my husband of course at first because he's the easiest person that you know i should be able to talk to i should be able to express these things so i started with him i was you know, tiptoed into the waters and i found out you know it wasn't a big of a deal as i thought it was imagine that not a big of a deal one thing that really helped me and all of it because it was hard at times it's still hard I am not I have not perfected the skill I am a people pleaser I want to avoid confrontation at all costs so this is this is big for me but one thing that really really helped me out is by practicing self-love by reminding myself how worthy I am by speaking to myself in kind ways, by loving for myself, by forgiving my past mistakes, and accepting myself for who I am now, today, tomorrow, and in the past. It really helped to make me courageous and brave and to speak up for what my needs and my wants are. I'm just so glad that I found the courage and the strength to put myself out there and do it and give it a try. I had to learn the importance of setting boundaries. <laughs> Ooh, easier said than done sometimes. One of the things that really has just helped me out is I know that it is just practice and perseverance and that is gonna help me with my consistency over the long time. With all of the practice and all of the perseverance it's just empowering to me how far that I have come and how far I can go you know thinking about it creating the boundaries it's not so much you know I set the boundaries but the people in my life they're not used to me having boundaries so they want to like test those boundaries that I set and having to be forceful having to make it clear that these are my boundaries now, that's tough. And some days are better than others. I go, you know, back into that people pleasing, but I know that I will get better and better the more I practice this skill. This skill is important for my personal growth, positive change, where I want to go and who I want to be. It's a worthwhile skill to learn. I wish I had great tips for you if you find that you have the same problem that you just completely shut down, can't ask for what you want. The only thing I can say is 
take a leap and try it out and keep practicing that skill. I just keep telling myself that I am worthy. I am worthy of being heard. My voice matters. I tell myself that all the time. And I want you to remember that too. You are worthy. Your voice needs to be heard. You can speak up for what your needs and your wants and your desires are. Be brave. Be courageous. Be strong. I guess we're going to have to do a 2023 year in review here coming up soon. But before we do that, I guess we're, we need to review the week. How did my week go? You guys, just to remind you, I am not weighing in until the new year. So, but I am going over my consistency scorecard with you guys. This, and it's short and sweet. I got a overall 60% for the week. My protein, I'm still, I, I haven't figured that out yet. My exercise isn't as good as I want it to be. My sleep is definitely not as good as I want it to be. Here it is. Air, room for improvement. That's what I call that. Room for improvement. Just share the journey. <laughs> you know, one thing about this week, going back to those, those boundaries. We try and set the boundaries and people don't always agree. I found myself this week where three of the people that I love the most questioned me, pushed me, made me feel small. That's, that's boundary. They tried to cross that boundary and I'm not letting them. I'm worthy of more than that. They're just not used to me demanding so much from people and they'll get used to it. It's hard for the people that are in our lives, not just for us. Try to put your, you know, your feet in their shoes. And something changes so much. It's a little different, uncomfortable maybe. I don't know what the right words are for that. But I know all this change. It, it, it doesn't just affect me personally, it affects the people that are in my life as well. So I have to be patient with them. And I also have to be persistent. Just wanted to point that out, but just in case you start speaking up for yourself and you find yourself hitting some, you know, roadblocks down the road. But I want to encourage you, speak up. Love yourself. You are worthy. That's it. I'll see you guys in the next video as always. It's gonna